Okay, hi there, welcome uh, in this short video. Let's take a couple of minutes to revise the idea of free goods. So first of all, what do we mean by the concept of free goods? Well, free good is defined as a product with a zero opportunity cost, which means that it can be consumed in as much quantity or supplies needed without reducing its availability to others. Free goods are things which do not use up any factor input, land, labour, capital, at the point at which they're supplied. And a technical term, but an important one, is that a free good has a zero opportunity cost, which means essentially uh, that the marginal cost of supplying an extra unit of a free good is zero. We'll look at some examples in a second, but a free good contrasts with an economic good, which is a product, could be a good, could be a service, where there is genuinely an opportunity cost in consumption. So fresh air and sunshine are essentially free goods, for example. Uh, if you think about uh, you've installed some solar panels and perhaps connected those panels to a mini grid, then once you've done that, then the recurrent energy from the sun is essentially available free or at very low marginal cost. But, in contrast, if we think about supplies of oxygen, well, oxygen tanks, of course, those products are rival and often in scarce supply, particularly during a virulent and dangerous health crises. This picture uh, was taken in New Delhi, India, at the end of April 2021. And it's a stark reminder of scarcity, people standing in a queue to refill empty oxygen cylinders outside a refilling centre. India faced a huge oxygen crisis so, during the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic. In many environments, water can be a free good. Those of you who do wild camping and take water from fresh running streams and rivers, that's a free good essentially. But water scarcity is afflicting many parts of the world. Uh, this picture was taken in Cape Town in South Africa during a severe water shortage a couple of years back when literally the, the supply of water to households to millions of households and businesses uh, was under tremendous pressure ideas shared with others have aspects of free goods uh, so a really good example of that would be something like the open source software movement um, open source is uh, a computer software that is released under a license uh, in which the copyright holder gives other users the rights to use and study and change and distribute the software and the source code to anybody for any purpose. So the Linux operating system would be a good example of that. And in a sense, once that software has been written, the benefits of the open source software are, are freely available and not restricted. Uh, in contrast, patents can protect people's intellectual property, so trademarks, copyright, etc., a way of, of limiting the free access to and the free use of of ideas built into into innovations. Final point, I think, is that uh, sometimes students confuse a free good with something that is available for free at a zero price. So a good that's made available at a zero price is not necessarily a free good. If you think about free shipping from your maybe your online retailer, there is an opportunity cost uh, of a business providing free shipping because logistics need land and labour and capital uh, that are used up in providing that free offer. This is not um, an example of a free good. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this short video looking at free goods.